Ciao, buongiorno, come stai? Is Palermo worth it or not? This is the question, I'll try to give you a hand with answering. To answer this question, you should first know what you can do in Palermo and why it's famous. Now, I made an entire video about that, the link should be in somewhere there, just go check it out. For now, let me give you a quick rundown. Ah, and by the way, if you don't know me, my name is Nico, 100% purebred Siciliano, Sicilian, Palermo resident and founder of wearepalermo.com, a genuine travel guide to Palermo made by Sicilian with love. So what is Palermo famous for? First off, La Storia. Palermo is a city rich with history. It's like a buffet of monuments left behind there. An endless list of conquerors. Phoenicians, Greeks, Normans, Spaniards, Normans, you name them. And each of them added their own touch, giving us a multi-ethnic historical heritage that's rare to find anywhere in the world. Walking around is like flipping the page of a history book. One moment you're in Spain, then in Arabia, Arabia, then in Italy, it's like visiting different countries. And number two, Il Cibo. Palermo is a famous food city. I know, we are in Italy, but believe me, there is so much more than pasta, pizza, lasagna, pomodoro, and mozzarella. There are three things you gotta try that they are particularly famous here. Number one, street food. <laughs> in French fries and hot dogs, we are talking about some seriously creative ancient recipes. And number two, Mediterranean cuisine. That's packed with flavor. Buonissimo. Number three, desserts. Sicilians are masters of dessert creation. They know how to make desserts better than Willy Wonka. And get this, gelato, ice cream and cannolis, cannoli, were invented right here, believe it or not. But it's not only about eating, it's also about drinking. Palermo is the city of Italian aperitivo, aperitives. Here you can drink in crazy locations in the alleyways of the historic center or by the sea and you start drinking at sunset and you don't stop until only God knows when. And number three, Palermo is also famous for its scenic landscapes and beautiful beaches. You will find some of the clearest waters in Europe. You know those parties like beach and sea photos you can often see in the magazines or on Instagram? Yeah, you'll find those spots here. Plus, you got all of these spicy, picturesque villages that you can visit by the sea or in the mountains that look like paintings. So, to conclude, per concludere, Palermo is a destination that lets you do everything. There's so much to see in terms of history and villages. You can fill up on great food, go nuts at night, or chill and relax at the beach. What are the negatives? Well, when you are outside the city center, public transportation sucks. The city is old, not cutting edge, and downright disorganized, to be honest. But these are more issues for the locals than tourists. Anyway, if having a punctual bus service, organizing everything through an app, and vacationing in a perfectly tourist habit this style environment is more important to you than charm, character, history, and great beaches and landscapes, then you're better off making other plans. But if not, see you in Palermo. Ci vediamo a Palermo. Ciao.